Hello everybody, Minister Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we set up a new passenger route going from Port Arthur to Boca Chica by train. And this is the elevated station that we put in Boca Chica. It's probably going to be a fairly common sight in this series, these elevated stations, because the terrain just kind of calls for it in some situations. Because of the much smaller footprint they really have on the ground is, is very helpful. So, that's running. We've got passengers showing up. I've gone ahead and pushed, pushed time for it a little bit. I've paid down the loan some. And, well, I haven't really pushed time for it, but I've let the game run with time paused. <laughs> the, the date paused, as usual. And, um, yeah. We're ready to go ahead and start building out the rest of this passenger route out to Lubbock. And get that all bedded in, probably set up a tram route in Lubbock. Get that all set up, and then we're going to... I don't know if we're going to even be able to begin thinking about this connection running out of Laredo in the Lubbock. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We have to go somewhere else for a little bit. But for now, we'll go ahead and get started on this particular route. And we're going to come out of here... And I'm thinking that we, we are just going to have to come just straight out. At least to start with. We do not want electrification on there just yet. Alright, what I'm thinking is that we're going to have to go ahead and demolish that. We're going to have to knock out all these buildings as well. But I think we don't really have a ton of choice in that regard. I'll just go ahead and do it. All right, and then bring that through. Hmm. Would this even work? Here's a here's a question. Would this even work? It actually does. And it doesn't look terrible. Nice. All right. So, we'll just go ahead and just set it up so that it's ready to go. Okay. Now, we have to deal with this ravine and start swinging in this direction. So let's see what we can do here. Sixty-seven, sixty-six, seventy. I think would not be bad. All right, so what are we going to do as far as bridge? That's not bad. We're doing green through here, so I guess we'll try and keep this green. We'll probably do the red somewhere else. Let's see, what about... Uh... I would prefer... Yes, the open mesh. I guess we'll just keep this same look. 382,000. We're probably going to have to tunnel a little bit here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and build that there.
Uh, I think I'm going to pretty much just follow the road. Maybe. I might have to relocate the road. Now, here comes the next question. Where is the actual station going to be? Hmm. I could try to put it down here by the coast. Or try to put it up here in the hills. Um, hmm. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. All right, I want it high speed. I want it 240 meters long. I do not want electric on it. I need two tracks. Could do. Hmm. I think that might be what we're going to do. All right, drop it in. This mess has got to get cleaned up a little bit. This is... Well, that'll do. And then here at some point, that's basically going to become a tunnel straight out of the station, which is fine. All right, now... Let's just see if we go ahead and just straight up. There you connect there. What are we looking at? It slows down to the 40s before entering the station. Hmm. Not ideal, but. something extremely expensive. Well, yeah, I don't think there's any avoiding it. I just gotta wait till I actually get the money to build it. That's not the money to build it. <laughs> There we go. Build it. Okay. Now we need to build the other... The other side of the track. Oh, there's some new stuff. Alright, some new boats. Um, new wagons. Eh, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, now, can I make a diamond work here? 
I can. All right, very good, very good. All right, now that provides some catchment. Is, does any of this have residential catchment? Yes, it does. All right, very good. So then what that means is I can just go ahead and take this line, manage it and say after Boca Chica, go ahead and head over here and then back to Boca Chica. And as you're coming into the station, right? As you're coming in, I want you to be on platform. The other platform. Yes, just like that. Very good. Okay. Now I've got to sort out a tram route. See, that would be perfect. But I would need 300k. I just need to wait for something to make a large delivery and then we can... We can do it. Thank you to 486,000. Freight train's coming through. Oh, negative one million? Should make a pretty decent delivery. There you go. It does bring in a lot of money when it does finally, you know, make its delivery, but it doesn't. It's not quite as nice as I'd like. We get spikes, but then kind of just breaks even every so often. All right. There's 900,000. Let's just pause it here for a second. Right, there is Woodland Street. Okay. Let's go ahead and say we want to throw a tram track. Construction not possible. Why is construction not possible? Well, we'll just do it somewhere else. All right. Done. All right. So I think we're going to go around this way. So we'll have our stop there. There's a catchment right about that. Okay. So we're going to throw another stop right about, right about there. Yeah, that'll do. Right, and then another stop, probably right around here. What was the catchment on this stop? Out to there. I want one stop to be the catchment of another. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be the Lubbock Tram. There we go. And... Hmm. 
It needs a depot. We have a road depot here. No, we don't. No, there's the road depot. We need the tram depot. Tram depot. Two trams. Now we still only have one train on here. Probably going to need two. I'm gonna have to take out a loan for that. Diesel multiple units. Rail bus. Interesting. It does 56 miles an hour. This thing's basically the same thing, only it's faster and carries more people. Yeah. Just make sure that no goofiness happens here. Four passengers, okay. Let me see, hold on. I'm gonna see what this looks like going through here. Okay, yeah, we've got the concrete walls. Right, nice. Drop off our four. Well, we dropped off two, apparently. And we're going to pick up 17. Or well, 15. All right. So, yeah. We are seeing everything here. All right. So, then this line... Be almost a shame to drop it off, but what are we looking at as far as profitability? Hundred and sixty five thousand. We're already making a hundred and two. And this will make more. 
All right, so I guess what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and decommission this. Manage vehicles. Select all vehicles. Go ahead and sell them. And then go ahead and... Delete the line. All right. And then we no longer need those stops. Oh, yes, we do, don't we? <laughs> we do, in fact, need those stops. Forgot that there was another bus route that used those. So basically all those people that were using that bus line now need to, you know, recalculate and reroute to use the train. See if this guy is gonna make some money when it arrives. It turned a profit. Good. Pay that down. Pay it down even more. All right. Okay, how are we looking here as far as passengers? 33 waiting. Got a bunch waiting here. Let's see, but... Yeah, we can carry 80 on that train. Look at Laredo. It's just, just growing up the side of the hill here. All that growth is not in catchment of the tram. There's the tram. There's the tram. starting to grow a little bit this should start to grow as well we've got 49 passengers waiting at this station fifty three passengers waiting at this station is just ramping up really fast 39 waiting here 28 waiting there 65 waiting there but then once once this train arrives it's just gonna dump, drop off and it should just pick everybody up But I think I'm at a point now where I'm just gonna need to sit here and wait for some money to build up. So I might just go ahead and end things a little bit early today. Kind of let that build up on its own. 
And then we can start thinking about some other options, like maybe setting up some other bus routes. Like perhaps uh, sending a bus out to St. Elmo. And maybe sending buses somewhere else. Out to Temecula. Maybe. You'll have to see. All right, but yeah, for now, we'll go ahead and stop here. And I'll, I'll let this um, make some money, pay down the loan, and then kind of decide what it is we're going to do next. This, this bridge is going to be expensive. Well, for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.